Titans GM Mode Commentary Episode 2. Um, first episode, uh, we've basically just seen what we had and didn't really do anything um, too um, too big so far right there. But uh, just kind of basically just seeing what we have, um, what we're going to build off of, how we're going to go in our first uh, our first uh, few um, years as a team. Like, what are we going to do? Um, so far, what we do have uh, as options, um, one of our options is, uh, if we go over to owner, our owner willingness to move is very high. So um, if I propose relocation, it will probably relocate. So we'll stay here for a year and then end up relocating to another city, which we will figure out in this video right here if we choose to do that. The other um, <clears throat> that is something that I guess kind of adds on because the other things that we can do, um, because our market size is small, which means there won't be many people coming to the games, but we could still do a little bit, um, in the games, but, uh, that would, uh, end up, uh, if we end up moving it, we'd end up having to, I mean, unless you just don't really care about the jerseys, you'd have to make the jerseys, you'd have to, the arena, um, you pick the uh, location, um, and, uh, basically, yeah, um, there's like 25 different locations, I've done it before, there's a lot of, like, I know Houston's one of them, that's got a large market size, there's like Milwaukee, there's places in, like, there's Quebec City and stuff up there, they have Las Vegas up there, because I guess Las Vegas is not like a team yet, but... Um, they have all those locations up there that you could possibly do and then that would end up taking effect the next year So this is like our last year before we move if we do that or we can wait another year or we could continue to just try and um, Work on Carolina and make Carolina really good again um, Either way we can we'll still be using the same franchise the same players the same coaches they're all going to be here they just might be in a different area depending on where we go so what i have been looking at in the uh about the first video um and who we have what i have been looking at is i like T uh, tavo teravinen um uh, les lindholm i like that i do like well i do see that um this dude is only 21 years old so this dude can grow easily so i feel like this dude would be a really good uh addition to the first line He's also has an overall point above Teravainen, and Teravainen's 22. He can grow up to being a lot better player too, but I feel like Lindholm could possibly, depending on if he gets the right um, time and the right shifts, he can do really well on the first line there. Because um, we don't really have much of a right wing category so far. Our best right winger is 83 overall. So that's not really something you want on your first line. Um, but it's what we have right now, so going to go with that maybe you might make a few trades before the season starts uh i don't know yet but uh we have victor Rass, 23 years old 85 overall so this dude is definitely um a player that i could see in the future for uh carolina being only 23 this guy on uh, jordan stall is only 20 is 28 um 87 so he could possibly uh outgrow jordan stall so Jordan Stahl, I can actually use as a possible, um, some trade bait. Maybe get another uh, prospect in here, grow this team to being even better. So Jordan Stahl, I could end up trading off, getting another prospect. Everybody starts growing and we start even doing even better, which could be a really good um, idea because getting a lot of players that aren't that good is going to bring down our record, which will help us get some of the top draft picks in order to get us the... Um, uh, rebuilding part of our stage of the team so being able to bring our team down even more by doing that and trading uh, to get more prospects getting lower level overall prospects onto the team growing them uh, and we'll get probably the first probably get one of the first five draft picks depending on how the team does this year um, gives us even another prospect on top of that but i do think that we should keep this guy for a little bit so we can have somewhat of a ability to score up front um 
so we can grow some of these guys a little bit. So maybe possibly near the trade deadline, trade this guy for maybe a prospect or something on another team. Um, so Skinner over here, this dude's good. He's 86 overall. Um, Lee Stepniak, this dude, I, I kind of want like, I don't really like that he's 33 years old. I, I could go without him. So if he's got a year left, I'm not going to sign him again because it's just not going to do anything and not going to grow and not going to help the, the franchise do any better. Um, Phil D. Giuseppe, 22 years old. I f honestly feel like I should just move uh, Nordstrom down to the fourth line, this guy up to the second line, and bring Stepniak down to the third line. Give this guy a chance to grow up on the first, uh, the second line. Give him a little bit more time. I'm going to do that right now, just putting that just right there. Nordstrom doesn't really have much time to continue growing. Um and then um, maybe do something about Brody Sutter, but uh, he's like 24. He doesn't really have much time to go either. I don't know why he's up here. He should be getting more playing time down in the AHL right now. Having a 73 overall in the NHL is kind of hard. Um, uh, Jay McClement, uh, 80 overall. This guy I could end up. I could send this guy down to the AHL, but... He's got a little bit overall. Um, Victor Stahlberg, he's, I, I'm okay with Victor Stahlberg. He's got a few more years where the, he could stay around that 81 overall, 82 overall table with Teravina. And so Lindholm and Teravina, those are like two really good prospects. Same with uh, Skinner and Giuseppe if he uh, ends up growing really quick. Um, plus Giuseppe is listed as a top nine forward, so he should be up here in the top nine up here anyway. Nordstrom is a high top nine forward, so maybe, hmm, maybe I'll put I'll put Nordstrom back on the third line just because he's a high top nine forward. He should be up in the top nine. Give uh, Giuseppe the chance to grow and continue growing the franchise a little bit better. Maybe give us a little bit more trade value out of him. Maybe if we can trade him in the future. Um, Andre Nestrosil, he's not going to grow too much. Um, let's see, AHL. So we have that 73, 24-year-old. We could replace him with Brian Bickle and put him on center. Um, cause he's a, a bigger dude. He could do center. I don't know. Uh, let's see. What is this face-off? Face-off 65, maybe not. Um, oh, face-off 60 for this dude. Like, he's He'd be a better center than Jones right here. Hoffman, face-off 72. This guy is the best face-off guy on the whole team right here. So maybe... Maybe I should just bring up Hoffman up here because he's going to have a chance to grow and he's got even higher um, growth. Let me check his face-offs real quick on Sutter. Sutter's 60 face-off, so I'll definitely I'll send that dude down and I'll bring up that other guy. Maybe keep uh, Bickle down there and bring up Hoffman over here. Zykov, oh, I could bring up Zykov too. Let me see. He's only he's the same overall and he's 21 years of age, so let's see. What is this? 65. I don't know. Hoffman... Hmm. Uh, let me look to see uh, NHL Nestrosil, 25 years of age what is his face off 75 face off so that dude Stepniak 60 face -off. so I can have Nestrosil be up here taking face offs because that's a way better face off guy in the first place than Sutter I don't know why he's up here right now um, and then I'll bring Zykov up he is listed as a right wing anyway I'll bring Zykov up and I'll bring um, I'll bring Sutter down. Um, let me do that real quick. All right, options, roster moves. There he is, Sutter. Uh, it's not like uh, oh, under the salary cap. Oh, we have a lot of salary cap in the system, so we'll have to bring up Zykov first. Maybe even have to keep, if the salary cap is that bad for us right now, maybe even have to keep Sutter up. Yeah, we'll have to keep Sutter up and, unless we can sign some free agents. So I did not look at the salary cap. I did not realize that. Um, but uh, that salary cap definitely, um, uh, we can definitely sign a uh, free agent too to help some of these younger guys as well. Um, let me pull up Brock again up here. Who do we have scratched over here? Aho, I want him to get some. Uh, I want to get Aho sometimes, some time. 
give him some t- he's 19 years old so there's a lot of potential for him to go if he's got the um the, the um it's time to do that um all right so i want to switch out him with zykov this guy can grow so with uh stepniak will help him grow and nest shell on the face offs there even though they're both are listed as a right, they're all listed as a right wing actually i, I didn't realize he's well Le- Ter- tevo teravine is listed as a left wing why was Te- teravine in no he was on the first line okay no that, that, that's why all right well all right, so everything's really messed up on their positions, but I guess that's okay right now. Uh, we got three right wings in here. I didn't even realize, but uh, whatever. It should be fine. We've got the face-off guy where he should be, and then the two wingers, basically. Um, Noah Hannafin, uh, I'll keep him up there, definitely. Maybe I can get a free agent signing, get a, a, bit, a little bit better defense here, help out Hannafin and his growth. Goalies. Oh, uh, maybe, maybe I should just go all in for a better goalie. Give them better hope overall. Maybe get a, a prospect goalie, probably, because there's not much. We don't have anything in the AHL, so I think maybe I should try to get a prospect goalie out of if they have anything in free agency. Um, let me go figure that out. Let me uh, see if they have a prospect goalie or something in the AHL or not AHL, a free agency. Um, I guess since we're here, let me just look at the trade block. Let's see. Let's see what our trade values are for our team before we go into this. So, Falk, has got our most trade value out of everybody. Um, Stahl, um, it's got got a lot of trade. I can. I mean, I could definitely use Stahl for trade value. Um, he's not going to grow anymore, so that trade value is going to slowly start coming down soon. So. I feel like I should trade stall definitely at the trade deadline get that uh, back a little bit maybe even trade Falk too because I got a lot of trade value from him uh, and Hannafin like I said he's got a lot of trade value being only 19 years of age I can see him growing up to being basically Falk um, and Skinner 24 years of age 86 he's got some trade we got a lot of like we have got a lot of small trade value players. Like, we don't have a lot of nothing trade value players. We have stuff with a little bit of trade value in a lot of them. So, we could work with that. Um, this guy is 64 overall, 20 years old. I, If he's already 20, like, he's got this trade value. I feel like I can easily just trade him off because he doesn't even make our AHL roster. So, he wouldn't even play in the AHL, basically, for this year. Because his overall is so low right now. Um, I could end up just trading him off and he's already 20 so 21 he's going to get his first chance at the AHL roster basically and then 22 comes along and he's maybe 75 he's not going to really do too much for us at the NHL level so like I just I don't see it I don't see the space for that so definitely somebody I can get rid of right here for some trade value for somebody else maybe I can put him onto another trade here uh all right, well, let me look at the rest of these players. Uh, all the rest of these players down here, they're all like the older guys down here. AHLs aren't growing anywhere. So um, let me look at the goalies real quick. That's the only thing that doesn't get shown up here. Goalies. Um, we do have a that one prospect goalie. I need to roster that dude. We have that prospect goalie there. Um, we have two people that aren't even signed that not really going anywhere anyway um eddie lack cam ward's got something maybe i can throw cam ward into a trade he has a backup goalie for another team if i get a better goalie in a trade but um yeah that one dude he needs to be uh he needs to be on the ahl roster so i need to go do that too but let me go look into the free agency now that i'm here free agency this is going to help us out anyway because we need to spend some sort of money right now to um, l- uh, lessen our cap space a little bit. We have like nothing right now. So, Jerry Hoodler, he's he's available right now. 
um and be good for yeah years one and that's good four million dollar signing uh right wing to basically be a second line right wing but your right wing is good i feel like if we have a left wing um russell we have two d-man that we can sign um i feel like we do need a d-man because our d is kind of look, looking a little lacking so far right now with those very low overalls and young guys so i feel like we need a few more older guys on the team to uh help out uh yeah i want to do that roll top four 29 years of age let me offer this guy a contract i'm just gonna offer him what he wants i don't think anyone's gonna go try to um well i guess it is the beginning of the season let me increase that to give him 100k more than he wants no one's interested in him so that should go through bring us down to like eight mil he only wants one year so we don't have to sign him after this year if we don't need him um all these guys want one year so that's good um let me go look at the goalies All right, Brzgalov, it's an 85 goalie, but he's 36 years of age, so he's going down. Um, that's not really that good. Enroth, 82. These are all like backups, basically. So anything that I'd get over here is just kind of looking for a prospect goalie to possibly grow up bigger, because there's not really, there wouldn't be much difference of me getting. I mean, the only goalie here that's better than my starter is Brzgalov, but he's three years older than my starter, and all he's going to do is just go down, so there's really no reason to sign this dude right now. Um, it won't be too much of a difference on the team. Um, let's see. Let me uh, sort this by age. 41 goalie, this guy over here. Um, all right, 22 years of age. 63 overall roll other goalie 65 overall 46 what 65 overall 22 years of age there it's just a 68 overall 22 years of age that maybe i could use a 68 overall backup maybe i can just maybe sign this guy for a year and see how he does But we already got that other goalie that's like 65 overall at 20. Um, no, there's there's not much. There's not much there. No, there's not there's not much I can do here. There's, I mean, 81 overall, 25 year old. That that one dude. He's he's like almost done growing though. It's just that there's there's nothing in the uh, free agency. But I did offer that one contract to Russell and if I can't end up getting him I can end up getting Wisniewski for D because we do need D and then Jerry Hoodler I could let's uh, let's see what our forwards look like I could end up getting him and then I'll be able to send those guys down that I uh, didn't want so they get some playing time in the AHL um, manage rosters yes I want that. Edit lines. Um, so Jerry Hoodler would go in right around here. Basically, replace Stahlberg. Um, I I mean, Teravine and Lindholm, I really want to grow these guys. So Jerry Hoodler might be on first, and then I knock off Zykov. But... I don't know. They're all they're all going to be growing, so I mean, I don't really have to make a crazy like playoff run this year. I just need to like grow the uh prospects cuz there's this this team is not going to get that many wins. Um so I don't think I don't think I'm going to do that. There we need to get that pros uh that pick and be in this rebuilder phase and trying to get better draft picks to get even more guys that are going to help us out in the future. Um so yeah, getting that dude, um, we could end up putting, um, we can put him with 
We can keep Hannafin with Falk just because we're still working on not we're not really caring about the best record, but having him up there on the first line will still keep this guy growing. Um, Ron Hainsey, um, I could probably just I can replace that dude here so we can get um, Slavin some time to grow a little bit too and uh, uh, Pessy or Pesce, whatever you say. Um, yeah, I, I think I'll just do that. I'll, um, Hainsey, I'll end up just giving, um, I'll replace him or, uh, I'll send Tennyson down. Maybe I'll put Hainsey, Hainsey down to help out Pesce, Pesce and I'll scratch Hennison. And he'll go on the second line. So that'll help out the defense a little bit. There's no, uh, goalies that I can really do anything. Maybe I can trade for a goalie, but... I guess we don't really need a goalie. We just need to get that um, draft pick right now. Oh wow! I got a got a message again. I, I appeared offline and I got a message, so I'll have to check that out after this video. Um, somebody that I was actually like really I played um, ESHL a lot with him in the uh, Thunder videos, um, but. I think we're going to wrap this video up soon. Um, so we have a lot of trades to make. We still have this uh, relocation that we could do. End up going, staying in Carolina. Trying to make Carolina good or relocating. And um, then after relocating, then doing all this other stuff that goes along with it. Um doing all the jerseys and stuff which could be in the next video uh, I might just end up uh, relocating and then I'll cut out that in the next video if we end up doing that so you don't have to watch the hour that it takes to set up all the stuff for relocating the next year that we have a lot of trades we have a lot of um, we can get some more prospects we have to oh let me do that one last thing here I gotta uh roster that uh one ahl guy that um should be uh growing he's our highest uh highest goalie that we have or our best uh looking goalie out of here so let's scratch moose let's give uh alex nedel jakovic nedel jakovic alex nedel jakovic some time as a starter or well though Daniel Alt 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 these names he'll probably get a little bit more time because his overall is a little bit better but I think Nedel Jakovic is probably going to end up getting a little bit higher overall than Alt Holder maybe this guy can grow up and being a possible goalie in the future <laughs> um all right so all right so we got that all done and so yeah a lot of trades free agencies and looking good that guy's gonna end up it seems like he's gonna end up signing with us i think if he doesn't i'll get him another one to possibly get us a little better d-man to help our prospects grow a little bit i think what we're gonna end up doing is start growing this team and being um pretty shit the first year and just growing the team um like growing growing some prospects to get a little bit better on this team because there's just there's a lot of there's a lot of um there's a lot of potential on this team but there's a lot of older guys that are not really that are taking up a lot of salary space and they're not that high overall and they they'll just they just start weighing down the team in in the long run so it's going to definitely be a uh, big hill to climb, but I think we're, we should go. I'm pretty sure we should go on the uh, the rebuilding phase where we end up trying to get one of the top draft picks, being one of the worst teams, getting the best chance, getting the top draft pick, get the top draft pick, so we'll get a medium elite guy. Maybe even trade. Uh, maybe we can even trade Falk there, or not Falk, or stall there for getting another uh, elite prospect. To start up so we in the next few years become a really good team um yeah i think 
I think that's what we're I think that's what we should do but uh let me know um we'll I'll start going a little bit next I'll be live streaming the next few videos um but after that uh just uh after after that then you guys can all chime in and let me know uh if you guys have a certain preference on a way you want me to go otherwise I'm gonna end up just doing that um all right well if you like the video leave a like uh comment subscribe um uh, i'll see you guys in the next video